Hi there, Chef Evelyn here. So as promised, I'm going to show you day two of the meat curing process. Let's get started. So right here we have the meat just taken out of the fridge. As you can see, it has changed in color. There's a little moisture extracted from this baby here. So what we're going to do is obviously remove the plastic. I washed my hands already, so uh, we can do this two different ways. We can get a fresh sheet pan and just simply extract it and put it there. But what we're going to do, we're going to show you is if you don't have a second set of uh, sheet pan. So we can do this another way. We can just take the top off, set it to the side, extract all this here, clean it up. You can see there's a lot of um, salt and very little moisture, but we're going to take care of this by, and we're not reusing this salt. We got fresh salt set aside for this process. Get all the salt out of here and any moisture. I want, I'm more concerned about the moisture. So it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. The thing is back over here. And just a bit so definitely needs it's doing what it's supposed to be doing I am so happy with this here check this out the marbleization is great so I am gonna do the back side first because that's where it's gonna live and you just want to cover it so we're doing the opposite of a raisin it's nicely plump shrink this out and the process of osmosis is going to take place when our final product is going to be done. It's a little more salt over here in this darker spot. That means that there's moisture present there. And that's what it's, that's all we need. That's all that needs to happen right here. And then we're just going to Back to the fridge it goes. There you have it. So tomorrow we'll be back for day three. Hi everyone, Chef Evelyn here. We made it to day three of our meat curing process and I'm excited to show you what it looks like. So let's get started. This is our day three process. Yay! There's not much moisture underneath this cookie sheet and here we're going to reveal what it looks like. So you may not see my face but you are going to see what we are here to do. We need to remove this plastic wrap. We no longer need it. I do want to mention that for instance I'm very excited and I'm happy with the way this looks and the next thing we're going to do is rinse it but I do want to mention that if let's say you are not ready for next step an extra day to this it's not going to hurt just by looking at, at the the way it looks the way it has cured and the smell it's it's right where it needs to be so at this point we are going to get ready to rinse this off so i'm going to bring it over here we're removing all this salt that we added in the past few days a lot of it will come off. It feels very grainy, very sandy. And we're just getting all of this off. Just cold water, that's all you need, cold water. It looks like everything came off. And I want to really rub this like so. So in case there's any salt hiding in there, it feels great. There you go. There you have it. So your meat curing process is basically complete at this point, ready for whatever next steps you want to move on with. At this point, I just want to mention that this is basically what we are here for today, the meat curing process. This is all we need to have done. 
is ready for the next step so i would like to invite you for the next invite you for the next video that i'm going to do for marinating and i hope to see you on our next video thank you for watching us till next time